हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी स्टार्ट अ टॉपिक अ ट्रांजिस्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एसेंशियल पार्ट सो इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अप टू दी ए फ्रेम मींस अप टू थ्री पार्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट द ट्रांजिस्ट थियोडोलाइट एंड नाउ वी डिस्कस अबाउट द अनदर पार्ट इज अ लेबलिंग हेड सो ऑलरेडी थ्री पार्ट इज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस now we start a new part of the <coughs> theodolite is a leveling head so here leveling head is used to attach the instrument on a tripod stand so here in a leveling head uh, this screw is provided so it's uh, called a leveling screw or uh, also called a foot screw for uh, adjustment of the level level to instrument and uh, the leveling head consists of a two parallel plate is known as a tri bridge uh, plates and uh, these plate are parallel with each other by using the foot screw and uh, generally there are the three step are uh, there in a theodolite uh, traversing first <coughs> first one is a uh, 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 leveling then up uh, uh, sorry first one is a centering then after leveling and uh, third one is a focusing so after centering leveling leveling is there so in this leveling uh, by using the foot screw we level uh, level the uh, theodolite leveling head plates now next is a uh, axis or uh, two spindles so there are the inner spindle or axis is a solid or conical and the outer spindle axis is a hollow so these are the uh, these are the axis and uh, uh, this one is a spindle so here the inner spindle also called upper axis since it's uh, carry a vernier or upper plate and the outer spindle carry a scale or a lower plate now next is a lower plate so here this plate see this uh, in this figure in this figure you exactly seen that uh, lower plate is uh, right at here and uh, in this plate a uh, angular horizontal plate gradually provided around the uh, graduated circle with a 0 to 360 degree in a clockwise direction and the graduation are in a degree divided into three part and uh, each division has a uh, equal 20 minutes so each and every 20 minutes uh, one degree is uh, done so one degree is divided into uh, three part and uh, horizontal angle are measured by using this plate and here uh, to measure the angle there are the two window is provided first one is a window a and second is a window b so in a window a we uh, measure the angle from the 0 0 degree and uh, in a window b we measure the angle from the 180 degree and the size of the theodolite is uh, defined by the diameter of the horizontal circle so it's uh, in a lower plate diameter of the lower plate is uh, you get the exact idea about the uh, uh, exact idea about the size of the theodolite like uh, there are the many types of the uh, uh, theodolite is available in a market but uh, size is depend on a diameter of the uh, theodolite so like uh, diameter start from the 12 cm to 15 cm and uh, generally usable uh, theodolite is a 12 cm diameter plate and uh, next is the upper plate so here see exactly here above the lower plate upper plate is provided so horizontal plate of a smaller diameter is provided with a two vernier on a diametrically opposite part of its uh, circumference and uh, vernier are designated a and b and they are used uh, re to uh, fraction of the horizontal circle uh, plate graduation so here vernier graduated in a uh, 20 minutes means each mate is divided into 3 3 to 5 parts and uh, least count is a uh, 20 mate or uh, uh, 10 minutes sorry 20 second or a uh, 10 second 
now next is the upper and lower clamp screw so what is upper and what is lower clamp screw so here screw is provided upper clamp plate and uh, uh, lower uh, lower screw is provided so here lower screw is here and upper screw is here so these both these screw are provided to fix the two plate or two clamps are assigned to target the screw with the plate and uh, these screw are facilitated to motion of the instrument in a horizontal plane so when we fix the uh, upper screw <coughs> or upper clamp screw so uh, both the plate are fixed and uh, when we target the any point or uh, any object and uh, when we measure the angle so first one upper screw is uh, fixed and uh, when we fix the upper screw both the plate are fixed and uh, no moving of the angles and uh, in a lower screw when we fix the lower screw rotation of the theodolite is uh, fixed and uh, no rotation is done after fixing the lower screw when we rotate the telescope uh, or a theodolite in a horizontal direction so compulsory required uh, lose the lower screw now here lower clamp screw lock the or release the lower plate and when the the screw are unblock the upper plate and the lower plates move together and associated with a target screw allow a small motion of the plate uh, in a lock position and uh, upper clamp screw lock, locks or release the upper one year plate and which clamp is released uh, the lower plate does not move upper one year plate move with the instruments and uh, this causes change in a uh, reading and the upper uh, tangent screw allow the fine adjustment now next important uh, part is uh, leveling tube so here see this uh, circle small circle is given at here so in this uh, uh, from the top view this type of the tube is provided this type of the tube is provided at the uh, top of the upper plate and uh, this level tube is generally used uh, to find out the your instrument is perfectly leveled or not and uh, spirit level with a bubble and a graduated on a glass is covered and a single level or a two levels fixed in a perpendicular direction may be provided and the spirit level can be adjusted with a foot screw of the leveling head and uh, when the bubble is uh, at a center of the uh, tube means your uh, instrument is perfectly leveled now next is a plumb bob so here one string is provided and uh, below the string plumb bob is provided so there are the different type of the plumb bob is available but uh, generally we use the metal plumb bob in a uh, theodolite so here plumb bob is uh, suspended from the hook uh, fitted on the top of uh, fitted to the bottom of the inner axis and uh, it is used to center the instrument exactly over the station so here uh, when we uh, fix the tripod stand above the uh, exactly above the station so by using the plumb bob direct uh, instrument is directly fixed above exactly above the uh, exactly above the station or a wooden peg now next is a compass so all of you know about the compass so compass is generally used to direct the north direction because here uh, needle is provided in a compass so needle is always rest in a north south direction and uh, in a compass uh, north direction uh, is uh, seen by the uh, uh, red mark and uh, some theodolite are provided with a compass and uh, bearing are taken from the compass and it is fitted to a a frame so here in a, this a frame compass is fitted and uh, by using this compass with respect to north direction we measure all the angles all the horizontal angle we measure with respect to north direction next is a shifting head so here an arrangement of the shifting head is made for a quick and accurate centering of the theodolite so uh, all the setup is move in a horizontal direction in a, any direction and uh, when the arrangement is fixed uh, so shifting head is uh, locked and then after by arrangement of the theodolite can be shifted in a horizontal plate 
with respect to tripod stand so in a tripod stand we exactly uh, fix your uh, center and uh, um, uh, fix your station above the instrument and uh, next is a uh, altitude level tube so highly sensitive bubble is used level per, uh, particularly when taking the vertical angle observation so here <coughs> here work uh, altitude level tube is uh, working is the uh, same as a uh, same as a level tube so it's a highly sensitive bubble tube and uh, for the vertical angle uh, we uh, first we check the altitude uh, level tube and then after we measure the vertical angle now uh, next uh, topic we start uh, with uh, some of the definition and technical terms so here first definition is centering so what is centering centering means uh, setting the theodolite exactly over an uh, instrument station uh, so that the vertical axis lies immediately above the station mark and it can be done means by the plumb bob suspended from the small hook attached to the vertical axis of the theodolite and the center shifting the arrangement is provided if the instrument is uh, uh, with the help of the instrument in uh, easy and rapid performance of the centering so here when we fix the uh, fix the station and then after when we fix the uh, wooden peg on a ground and then after instrument is set above the ground so by using the plumb bob centering is done clear so all of you know about the centering and uh, if a small movement is required so shifting head by using the shifting head we shift the uh, theodolite in uh, any direction and uh, fix the shifting head and uh, we exactly uh, centered uh, centered the instrument station uh, above uh, to theodolite machine and uh, next is a uh, transisting so transisting is known as uh, known as a plunging or a reversing it is the process of turning the telescope about in a horizontal axis uh, through 180 degree in a vertical plane so uh, bring it up up and down uh, and making it point exactly opposite in a direction so here transisting like uh, movement or rotate the telescope in a 180 degree means in a backward direction where when we seen the forward direction any ranging road and uh, directly we seen the backward direction ranging road so we easily uh, rotate the telescope in a 180 degree and uh, bisect the backward direction ranging road so it's called a transisting so transisting is a uh, uh, rotate the telescope in a vertical direction not in a horizontal direction next is a swing the telescope so what is swing so swing means uh, turning the telescope about in a vertical axis in the horizontal plane so swing is uh, right to left according to the telescope is rotated clockwise or a counter clockwise direction so it's called a swing the uh, telescope <coughs> next is a uh, phase left so this type of the uh, definition asked in a g2 examination in a three marks like a uh, three definition is given and uh, write all these three definitions so another definition is a uh, fist uh, face left position so if the vertical uh, circle of the instrument is in left side of the observer uh, while taking the reading uh, the position is called a face left and the observation taken in a horizontal or vertical is in position is known as a phase left observation so here from the telescope uh, vertical circle which are measure the vertical angle so this vertical circle is uh, in a left side of the uh, left side of the <coughs> left side of the instrument so it's called a phase left position so all the readings generally we take a uh, take a phase left position and uh, what is phase right position so when the vertical axis 
is in a right side of the instru uh, instrument is a right side of the observer while taking the reading the position is known as a phase right position and the observer taken the horizontal and vertical circle in is in, is in a posi uh, position is known as a phase right observation now next uh, type of the uh, definition is a changing phase so what is changing phase so it is the operation of uh, bringing the vertical circle to right of the observer if uh, originally it is uh, to the left side and uh, vice versa so means uh, when we position is changed from phase left to phase right position so it's called a changing a phase so it is done in a two step first uh, revolve the telescope through 180 degree and uh, in a vertical plane and uh, rotate it through in a 180 degree horizontal plane so uh, here two step is there first rotate uh, in a 180 degree horizontal and uh, second is a 180 degree vertical so these two step uh, we change the phase uh, of a theodolite next is a line of the collimination so it is the it is the line of sight and uh, imaginary line joining the intersection of the crosshair of a diaphragm to the optical center of the object glass and uh, it's a continuation and uh, this line of collimation is uh, passing from the center of the instrument uh, telescope so from the object van and uh, from the eye van so this uh, line is uh, 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 transfer it's a imaging line and transfer from the center and also transfer from the diaphragm means from the crosshair uh, image line is a pass from the center point next is the axis of telescope so here it is known as a image line joining the optical center of the object glass to the center of the eyepiece it's a one type of the axis of uh, telescope is a one type of the line of culmination so both the line are uh, passing from the center of the uh, telescope next is a uh, axis of level tube so it is also called a bubble line so it is the straight or line tangential or longitudinal curve of the level tube center of the tube and uh, it is horizontal when bubble is in a center next is a vertical axis so vertical axis uh, from the name you exactly seen that a vertical axis means axis uh, about which the telescope can be rotated in a horizontal plane means telescope is uh, in a horizontal direction and vertical axis is there so telescope is rotated in a vertical uh, sorry horizontal plane is known as a vertical axis and uh, horizontal axis it is the axis uh, about which telescope can be rotated in a vertical plane means this one is a telescope and uh, horizontal axis is passed from the telescope and uh, telescope is rotated in a vertical direction means uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise we rotate the uh, telescope is known as a horizontal axis and uh, horizontal axis is also known as a trunion axis now uh, next is the uh, adjustment of the theodolite so in the next lecture we we'll discuss about the adjustment of the theodolite so there are the two type of the adjustment permanent and temporary adjustment now we here complete our topic thank you